Hey everybody, it's Racer PS2 and Electronics Repair here. We got our tonight's video, or tomorrow's video, whatever time you look at it. Please like and subscribe because I don't get paid for these videos. I don't have a backer. I don't have anything. Please like and subscribe. I got like 90% of people watching these that are not subscribed. It just It doesn't cost you a thing. Just hit that subscribe button. And like I said, on with the video. Hey everybody, it's Racer PS2 and Electronics Repair. I just want to give you a quick update on everything around here. I'm waiting on parts for a couple for a couple PlayStations. We're gonna do a PlayStation Slim marathon. Um, I got a board coming for a 3001R. We'll see if it's any good. We'll figure that one out together. But yeah, I cleaned up the mess over there. Tape and mutter is coming in this week. Found that at Walmart for clearance. Um, it's for somebody else. It's not for me. Um, I need a RAM upgrade. It was uh, on clearance for uh, 300 bucks. This is a thousand dollar gaming computer. Yeah, those are parts PlayStation just sitting there. When I put a different board in from Dennis, it didn't work. The PlayStation part of it didn't work. So to me, that's it's a fix, but it's not a fix. So I left it alone. I didn't even film that. Got it all in containers now. Gotta love when you gotta buy a new refrigerator. I should have filmed that on Thursday night, on Friday night. When I got home. Man, that was a pain. I had to get a new one because the contractor smashed that one. I'll give you a better shot of it. A little close. That's what happens when you don't move stuff yourself, guys. Funny part is, is that I actually ordered the parts for that now. The door's on national back order. And here's the crown jewel. Update on a kitchen. Don't worry about the noise. That's just the washer upstairs because the, there's nothing on the drain right now. I'll go ahead and turn the light on so everybody can see. He's been sheetrocked now. Like I said, we're gonna have more repair videos coming. I just, I've just been busy dealing with the contractor on this. Um, tape and mutter's coming tomorrow, I guess, and this week. Basically, we're going to basically finish this up. Total cost is about fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, you heard me right, fifty grand cost overruns. Uh, floor was a cost overrun. They had to rip it all the way out. So instead of the duct being over there now, and the sink's going over there, I put the I put the HVAC over there. No, nope, you're not gonna put a countertop or a counter there, are you? No, not in front of the window. Yeah, those windows are brand new too, by the way. And he included two windows. He was a nice guy. Some of the stuff, most of the stuff I ain't gonna do myself. So, I mean, I'm not gonna rip a floor. I, they, I did this, didn't even do the silk plates, like I told you. Like I said, the floor is now solid as a freaking rock. And it's level, I can show you that too. Let me go get the level, I'll show you. This guy is so anal about his floors. I'm not kidding you. This was not level to begin with because of 1880s engineering. Look at that. You can't get any better than that. You can't get any better than that. The, the house has got a slight slope to it. And you put the slope by the sliding glass door, which is where it was to begin with. But this here used to have a big hump. There's a big wooden I beam, a big wooden railroad tie I beam right there. That's why it was humped. It wasn't being supported by anything at all besides the ground. I mean, this contractor guy is so anal about how his floors have to be level. I can put it anywhere in here, it'll be level. <clears throat> It's the back of the thing. Look at that. Not even, 
Not even an inch out of level or plumb. It's kind of funny. This guy will sit here. He sat there meticulously with a level and leveled it. I mean, yeah, if you got a guy going 20, 30 years experience doing that, he still checks his work three or four times before you put the floor down. I got three quarter and half inch OSB. I think it's I think that goes about an inch and a half, I believe, because if you look here. If you look here, it's a little high. If you stick your hand in here, it's a little high. It's a little high, but he was trying to match it to this, not that. So, so I have reason to believe that we're gonna trans. That this is all gonna be laminate. This is gonna get ripped out. It's gonna be laminate too. Yeah, I won't decided to spend sixty-five thousand five hundred dollars to do the entire bottom floor. Yeah, it's been it's been chaotic here. It's been chaotic. Yeah, there's your eight PlayStation sitting there. All Slims will be we're gonna call it the PlayStation Slim Repairathon. It's gonna be there's like eight sitting there. I guarantee they're all disc readers. I already ordered uh, 12 PVR lasers this week. As of today, I also ordered some 300C lasers we're going to test out, saying that they're brand new. I guarantee they're not. Um, I got for the three sitting out there that's got the dollar ninety nine stickers. The one I filmed last week was one of them just to test it to see if the board worked. Because I want to see if that used laser was any good, and it's not. That was out of... That laser I put in there last time during the live stream was out of this one. It kind of worked, but kind of didn't. I have not tested it since then, but I think that one's got a board problem. So it only does, it only runs right when it heat when it's heated when it's heated to a certain degree. So I'm wondering if I reflow the security chip on that one, if I get it to work right. I think there's a cold solder joint or solder ball on the bottom of it. Yeah, I fixed the computer. It was a power switch. I wish I would have filmed that one too. I felt dumb by buying a $300 power supply from uh, Corsair. But now she's got a 1200 watt power supply, so I, uh, so I can't bitch and complain about that. Got the ducts cleaned. That cost me 500 bucks. And the guys, the duct cleaning guy said they were really bad. Um, I wouldn't doubt it. I didn't blame them. But uh, like I said, um, that PS3 still works as of right now. I'll give you an update on it when it hits the six month mark. I play it every day. So if it doesn't turn on, you'll be the first to know. But uh, yeah, like I said, a little update on the kitchen, what's going on in there. Uh, I'm going to start selling stuff on. Get rid of my duplicate PS2 games. So, I do have a website I'm trying to start, but it's like I don't have any traffic on it, so it's like it's not set up right. So, um, if you click on my Wix website and you get a hold of me, I'll give you a price. But like I said, that's, that's what the kitchen looks as of right now. There's she rock on the walls. We got all that's moved. So that we can get everything in here. I also moved the stove because it was the right time to do it because I thought I had to vent my microwave outside, but I don't. But in future reference and future case that I get when I have to vent outside. And it's on an outside wall, so all that stuff's gonna be covered up with crown molding and all that stuff. I didn't redo the I didn't redo the ceiling, but I should have, but anyway. Just trying to save costs because eventually I'm not going to be here. This was kind of like a starter home. so. Um, but with the way housing prices are and the interest rates are, I don't think I'll be going anywhere for a little while yet. So, like I said, Racer PS2, Electronics Repair signing out. More repair videos coming. Um, like I said, it's just a mess in here trying to move stuff around and. 
I, I wish I took you on the, the uh, side-by-side refrigerator journey. I physically had to take my front door off to get it in here. Front door, both front, both uh, both them doors had to come off. Front door, shipping sleds, turn it sideways, by myself, nobody here, nobody wanted to help me. But I'm not complaining about that because if I'd have broke, if I'd have got broke and somebody was helping me, I'd have been mad. That is a fuck. That is a two thousand dollar refrigerator. Yes, a two thousand dollar refrigerator. So, it, 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 sometimes it, it pays to have water and ice. Your own ice maker. They charge you uh, three bucks uh, for five pounds of ice at the grocery store. And to run that with an ice maker costs you less than 10 cents. So, anyway. Like I said, well, I'm waiting on parts for the other stuff. Um, Going to fully test that one in, in a week or two. Again, because I got that off of eBay like 10 years ago and it works. The last time I touched it, it worked. It's not been open. It looks like it was at Sony and... If I can, I'm going to try to yank it a complete set and get it up there for sale. All right, guys, have a good one.